You guys, setting sprays have kind of become this season's highlighters. You know how last year or maybe two years ago, highlighters were all the rage. Every company came out with highlighters and before that it was liquid lipsticks. Now it's setting spray. Um, there are a lot of different types of setting spray out there. To be clear, we're talking about makeup setting spray. I don't know anything about any other types of setting spray. I'm sure there are some that are involved in other areas of life, but we're talking about uh, facial makeup setting sprays today. Now, while I haven't tried every setting spray on the market by any means whatsoever. I have tried a good sampling of them. I think I've tried most of the popular ones that are on the market. And today we're gonna to be talking about some of my favorites, maybe some that I'm not so crazy about. These eight setting sprays that I'm gonna talk about in today's video are essentially the ones that I feel are either the most hyped up or the ones that work the best. I've also kind of ranked them in order of matte to dewy. If you guys don't know about the setting spray world, there are so many different setting sprays out there with so many different effects. Um, I guess we're gonna start with the most matte setting spray that I have and then we'll work our way and get dewier and dewier and dewier. This one was inevitably gonna be in this video because in my opinion, this is probably the best setting spray. If you are looking for a setting spray to genuinely make your makeup last all night, you want it to last, you want it to look good, you want it to be set, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is where it's at. I have it in this little like travel type bottle here, but of course they do sell this in the full size and definitely one of my go-tos. If I just need my makeup to last, I want it to look matte, I want it to look good, Urban Decay All Nighter all the way. Going along with that, another one that I wouldn't even say is more dewy, they're honestly just hand in hand, the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. This one I have here is the Bridal Finish. I don't know, they have a bunch of different finishes, but just the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray is pretty much the exact same thing as the Urban Decay. Scandinavia actually makes the Urban Decay Setting Sprays, in case you guys didn't know that. So essentially, they're the same thing in two different bottles. The Urban Decay one is just, I mean, it's easier to find. You can find it in Sephora and Ulta and Macy's and all of the places you can get Urban Decay. The Scandinavia one is a little bit more specialized. You'll have to find it in makeup pro stores or online, but they're both amazing. They're both great. They both work perfectly. A matte finish, long wearing. I use them interchangeably. Also the spray nozzles on these. I probably should have mentioned that. These have more of a traditional spray nozzle. However, it is still a nice fine mist. It's not the finest mist that we're going to talk about in today's video, but it is fairly fine. You can feel it going on your skin, but it doesn't create droplets or anything weird like that. Definitely doesn't mess up your makeup. That would defeat the purpose of a setting spray. So I really do like the nozzle on both the Urban Decay All Nighter and the Scandinavia. They're really good. The next matte setting spray, which I would say is just a little bit less long wearing and a little bit less matte than those two would be the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This one claims to have a 16 hour wear. I love that you can get this at the drugstore. It comes in a nice little, I don't know, easy to travel with bottle. I like it. The mist on this is really nice, really fine. I would compare it to the Scandinavia and the Urban Decay in that, again, you can feel it going on your skin. It doesn't feel completely like air-like, but it doesn't leave droplets doesn't do anything weird to your makeup. This is absolutely my favorite setting spray at the drugstore. You guys will see that this is actually the only drugstore, or I guess there's another one in here that's technically inexpensive, but this is the only one that you can actually go into like a CVS or a Walgreens and purchase at a drugstore that I like at least, or that I've used. There are other setting sprays in the drugstore, definitely. The finish I get out of this is similar to the Urban Decay and Scandinavia, just not as long wearing as those. But on a day-to-day, -day, if you're just looking for a good everyday matte 
finishing spray, the Milani Make It Last is really, really good. All right, guys, let's chat about some kind of glowier setting sprays. Let's talk about, in my opinion, the most oldie but goodie that I have. I've been using the Urban Decay setting spray in the Scandinavia ones for many, 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 many years now. However, this one was the first one I ever purchased. This is the MAC Fix Plus. MAC Fix Plus, in my opinion, is not a setting spray. I would consider it a finishing spray. While I do feel like actually most of these dewy ones I'm about to talk about would be more of a finishing spray, setting sprays to me set your makeup. They make your makeup last longer. They give it that extra longevity. They are setting it the way you would set your face with powder. That's what, in my opinion, a setting spray does. On the other hand, a finishing spray will make your makeup finish and the finished look look better. MAC Fix Plus is my go-to if my face is looking maybe a little powdery, maybe I layered on a little bit too much setting powder and then blush and bronzer and contour and all that extra stuff. And I just need my makeup to just melt together so it doesn't look like I have 84 layers on my face. MAC Fix Plus to the rescue. They now have this in so many different scents and flavors and I love that they do that. While I'm about to get into some newer, fancier, kind of um, trendier finishing sprays. Um, I definitely think that MAC Fix Plus is a go-to. It's been on the market for so long and for a very good reason. This is a really, really good one. I will always have Fix Plus in my collection. Just throwing it out there. Okay, the next one I want to talk about. This is one of the more trendier ones, the more fun ones. I hate to say gimmicky because the next one's a little gimmicky if you ask me, but there's a little bit of a selling point to this setting spray. Um, so this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is supposed to give your skin a hydrating and glowing radiance but it does separate the kind of pink liquid floats to the top and then the white-ish liquid floats to the bottom. Before you use it, you're supposed to shake it up real well. The mist on this, my goodness. Okay, this is one of the finest mists Ever. It's so fine that you basically can't feel it going on your skin. It feels like invisible, which I don't prefer that. I do prefer to feel my setting spray going on so I know that I got it all over my face where I want it. With this, you almost can't even tell. You just kind of keep spraying and just hoping you hit every area that you're trying to hit. But I will say this will absolutely never, never, never give your face droplets. The best part about this spray is the scent. As you would expect, watermelon glow. This stuff smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Yes, I want watermelon Jolly Ranchers on my face at all times. This doesn't help much for the longevity of your makeup, but it does just make your makeup look more finished and glowy and pretty. This next setting spray is definitely the one that I think is the biggest gimmick. That's not to say it doesn't work, but this is the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. This one has actual gold flecks in the face mist. Is that necessary? Uh, no, it's not necessary. Um, you shake it up real well because the gold will kind of settle to the bottom. So shake it up really well and then just spray your face. This spray is definitely probably the least fine out of all of the ones here. It's more of a it's more of a straight shooter. It's got a little bit more of a targeted spray than any of the other ones. It's not horrible. Just make sure you don't have it too close to your face. Otherwise it will create some droplets. This one also smells like oranges and cream, which I really love. This is another glowy setting spray. So it is very luxe. It comes in a glass bottle. It smells really nice. The fact that it has gold in it is just, I mean, I guess it's just that extra luxury touch. But ultimately I don't feel like this does anything more more or more exciting for my skin than just like Fix Plus. I think it's pretty, but I feel like these two are kind of interchangeable. This one might be the slightest bit more dewy, but 
marginally. I definitely wouldn't repurchase this when I run out. I will use it and I will happily use it and I will enjoy it while I have it, but it's not going to be one of the first to go back on my repurchase list. You guys already know how I feel about this next one. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is the other one that has a less expensive price tag. It's definitely closer to the drugstore in price. Where this setting spray gets things right is that it's an aerosol container. You really can't get a finer mist than a straight up aerosol container. I do like the way it mists. It's very, 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 very fine. Similar to the Watermelon Glow. I mean, this one's not aerosol, but both of these, when you put them on your skin, you practically can't even feel them going on at all. This one does make your skin kind of dewy and glowy. Again, I wouldn't call this a setting spray, more of a finishing spray, but I think I got a bad canister of this because it makes my skin feel sticky. I think a couple of you guys out there have mentioned the same thing. So I know I'm not alone in this, but most of the people, the majority of the internet freaking loves this stuff. And I just feel like when I put it on, my face feels tacky. And that's just not how I wanna go about my day. So I have considered purchasing another one just to see if it was just a bad canister or it might just be something about my own body chemistry or the foundations that I use or the foundation and powder cocktail that I use on my face in combination that's causing my face to feel that way. But I did wanna throw it in here because it is a pretty finishing spray if you're looking for something less expensive that still does give your skin a nice dewy glow. And then the final makeup setting spray I had to mention this I feel like started the whole dewy finishing mist craze this is the Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist do we remember this does anybody still talk about this Tatcha packaging is luxurious as it absolutely should be because the price tag on this is luxurious this is a really really fine dewy mist. It smells like a spa. It smells delicious. If you over apply this, you will look like a grease ball. If you have oily skin, this is not the setting spray or the finishing spray I would recommend to you. If you have oily skin, but you're still looking for something to finish your skin and kind of help everything mesh in, I would recommend something like the Fix Plus. I mean, such a go-to or even this Watermelon Glow by Glow Recipe. This one will make you look like an oil slick. I only use this one if I am wearing a very, very long wearing matte foundation and I just don't want it to look that matte, which rarely happens, but sometimes can be the case in the winter. That is pretty much the only time I reach for this. This is a very, very specialized setting spray. If you have really, really dry skin and are looking for something that will give your skin some dew, it will give your skin some glow, this is a really good one. Alrighty guys, so that wraps up our setting spray, finishing spray, chit chat. I feel like this was one of those specialized videos that either you loved it or you didn't. You either are very, very interested in setting spray or you could not care less. But because I feel like setting sprays are just making a comeback, they're kind of in every single makeup brand now, I wanted to come on here and give you guys my little roundup of the eight favorites or the ones that are just the most popular and kind of put them head to head next to each other. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for someone out there. Please let me know if it was. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, thank you guys so, so much for your love and support. I appreciate it more than you guys will ever know. And I will talk to you guys in my next video very, very soon. I'll see you then. Bye.